And joining us now, Florida Congressman Greg Stubbe on the House Ways and Means Committee. Welcoming Congressman Stubbe. Thank you for joining us on Newsline today. Yeah, good to see you. So it sounds like uh, today will be some uh, movement. I want to play a little bit of Congressman Gates last night after filing this resolution to oust McCarthy as speaker. If he's able to stay in power, it will be him working for the Democrats, continuing to do their bidding. So this is a revealing exercise, and I think it'll show the country who's really in charge. So Speaker McCarthy went on X uh, saying, bring it on. That was his reaction. But clearly, uh, what do you think is going on here? McCarthy says it's personal. It seems like it's doing more damage to the GOP and giving Democrats an upper hand here. You know, today we had Hunter Biden in court, but we're not talking about that, Congressman Stubbe. Well, and I thought what Congresswoman Jayapal just said is very revealing as well. And I don't understand if Gates is going to make an accusation that McCarthy is working with Democrats. Now the Democrats have the ability to determine who's the speaker of the Republican conference after the overwhelming majority supported Kevin uh, to be speaker. So if they do what they say they're going to do, and Jeffries uh, apparently has said they're not going to do anything to help him, they're going to vote uh, yes to vacate the chair. That means that a handful of Republicans, uh, last count is five to seven, are going to join with every single Democrat on the floor to take away the Republican voted in Speaker of the House. So I don't, I don't quite buy the argument that it's McCarthy working with the Democrats when these five mm -hmm. to seven Republicans will be working with every Democrat on the floor to move to vacate the chair to remove the Republican Speaker. And the last time this happened, we ended up with Paul Ryan and we lost the majority. So history doesn't bode well for these type of things on the floor. Look, we live in a democratic republic and the majority of people within that republic determine the direction that we go. Our conference overwhelmingly voted for Kevin. I would have loved to have seen Jim Jordan as speaker, but he didn't run and he didn't have the votes. Andy Biggs only had, I believe it was 35, 40 votes. The Republican conference overwhelmingly supported him. Why wouldn't we then go and support the Republican who has the overwhelming majority within the conference? Instead, we have five members who are dictating the direction of our country for the entire House of Representatives. Uh, I, that's not the way that a Democratic Republic works. And it's so clearly some type of personal thing between Gates and McCarthy, you, but why would you work with the Democrats to remove a Republican speaker? Well, yeah, and he's got three people supportive of his effort, as you know, uh, Biggs, Good, and Crane. Uh, you know, how do you think this plays out today? He says he's going to do it over and over. Uh, that seems like it's, like you said, it could be personal. And again, if, if even if it's tabled or if McCarthy is removed, the House is, is paralyzed. So just so people know that, that would be the ultimate. Who wins in that situation, like you said? The entire House operations shuts down without a speaker's. The committees can continue to operate, but a great example is I have a bill up uh, tomorrow in committee. It was my hope to get that bill up to give tax relief to every American citizen that has experienced natural disasters since 2020. And if the if this vote is successful and Kevin is removed, none of that happens. My bill doesn't get passed this week. Uh, no legislation gets passed this week. All of these individual appropriations bills, which the Freedom Caucus has said they want all of these things to move, all dies. Everything is paralyzed on the House floor until we elect a new speaker, which it does, even if the conference, as you have seen, supports somebody to come out, then they still have to get a 218 votes on the floor. So if three or four Republicans say, nope, I don't like that person or I don't like this person for whatever reason, then what we are risking is moderate Republicans being like, I am sick and tired of nothing happening in Washington, D.C., and caucusing with the Democrats and supporting a Democratic yeah. speaker when Republicans have the majority. So this mm. can cut the other direction. Uh, it's a very dangerous play because it only take three or four moderate Republicans in Democratic uh, districts to say, you know what, enough of this. I'm going to go support uh, Hakeem Jeffries for speaker, and Republicans have the majority, but it'll be a Democratic speaker. Well, we're going to see how it plays out. Uh, again, only the third time in the 234-year history of the House that a speaker has faced a motion to vacate, and it's going down today. Appreciate your time, Congressman Stubbe. Thanks for joining us today on Newsline. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you, too.